Vstupajú predstavníci Estónie. Next to skate, representing Estonia, Katerina Bunina, Artur oh, Gruzdev. Very Gruzdev. nice young team, Katerina, 18, Artur 20, they're 11th after the rhythm dance, both born in Tallinn. 86.60 personal best last week. Hoping to top that here. Katerina Bunina, Artur Gruzdev, Estonia. Well, another very nice performance. I really like this couple. I've, of course, we've seen them a little earlier in the season. Last week, in fact. And I like their intensity. I, I find that maybe Katerina could put a little bit more emotion in the upper body and the facial expression. Love Archer's passionate movement as well good skaters 
Here's a look at the one foot steps. Level two for Katarina, level two for Arthur. And nicely done. The plus GOE of 0.93. So that was good. Look at this pickup here. Not easy. Straight line left, change all that movement. And he doesn't move an inch. Like totally solid base in that spread ego. Watch here. They have a little bit of a problem in the transition, the change of feet. It puts his foot down there a little bit. So that combination has been his only level one. Here's the twizzles, got the blade, hand above the head, good speed, nice and close. Level four for Katarina, level two for Archer. Let's see if he arms you a little bit off there. You can see the abilities and the potential in them. Watch this pickup, this is ridiculous. Right up over the shoulder, flipping back over the right shoulder. Wow. He made it look so easy. Just continues right into the into the turns. Nice and smooth. And then here's the choreographic lift right at the end of the program. Some really nice skills. There's a little bit of intensity on her right at the end of the program. We'd like to see a little bit more a little earlier on, but I like this team. It's going to be fun watching them develop. Yeah, they're really well suited for each other. The skating skills are similar. They match very nicely. Lots of work yet to be done and growth and maturity, but there are other ways. Katarina's 18, Arthur's 20, so that growth and maturity is part way there. And I'm sure they'll move up into senior and start their journey there soon. Well, the technical panel had four elements to look at. It's now completed. <laughs> and so are the judges. Here we go. Well, all the scores have been in for a bit. Um, maybe a little bit of a glitch. And the computers are just going to be working through that. We do have lots of new information in the in the judging system now, and therefore and they're putting new information in uh, for television, and so it's testing it here on the Junior Grand Prix, and so they're just working out some of the glitches, and periodically we have a, a, a an item that needs to get fixed, and so we can roll it out in the Senior Grand Prix on the, the television and whatnot. So. We appreciate everyone's patience with that, especially the athletes waiting for their scores and the athletes waiting to get on. But in order to prove things, you have to improve things. You have to test them. It just takes a little bit more time to do so. We appreciate all the efforts Swiss Tommy makes in, in, in working with the ISU to improve the sport 
and its delivery to television. And like us, we love the information. I have a great information screen. It gives me all the scores and the scoring and how many judges are in and finished and which elements are being reviewed and when they are reviewed and when they are changed. And so from a commentator's perspective, you really have an inside view of what is going on. But with that, in the addition of, of more information comes obviously more challenges because I was involved in, in helping to build the judging system back in 2002 to 2006. And so every time we came up with something new and we did it, it was always something that we missed and we'd have to correct that or find another solution around that. So that's just part of the marriage between life and, and technology. And, and even when you get a new phone, you may think, you know, but there's something new there you don't you have never witnessed before. So that's just where we are in society nowadays. The technology is wonderful, but it does have its problems periodically. So patience with technology, important skill to have for sure. Let's see, is there anything else I could talk about now, Sam? What do you think? <laughs> well, the next team keeping themselves moving to keep themselves warm because it's in, and also psychologically for the teams more than anything, they're ready to go. And then all of a sudden they're saying, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Okay, you go, no, no, wait, wait, wait. So the up and down, you have to have emotional control, well, in life, let alone this, but keeping things in perspective, keeping them light, and keeping your stress down. Bring the energy up when you need it. It's such a fine balance, and some are better than others at doing that. How do you control? Well, there's a certain amount of time that they can go before they have to have another warm-up, but we're not certainly there yet. And look down the judging panel there. You can see both Swiss Timing and Veland, our ISU event coordinator, working hard to get things back on track. Such a great group of people, so dedicated. They're here so early in the morning preparing everything and you know you may watch at home and everything's nice and smooth and it works great but you think of how many skaters there are and how many people and judges please. transportation there's everything okay finally here we go Katerina Bonina we can stop Arthur talking Gruzdev Katerina and Arthur free dance score 76.62 that's third in the free dance the total competition score of 128.38. That puts Katarina and Arthur currently in third place points, overall. And they are currently in the third place. The 